Ten-year note treasury yields hit their highest they have since January of 2020, getting as high as 168, albeit with a modest pullback after today's FOMC. But that was the focus of today, FOMC. Treasury yields have been rallying, really going back to the fall and really took off once we got to 2021, hitting these highs, creating some concerns about inflationary uh, expectations, creating concerns for how higher rates are going to ripple through the economy and possibly looking for some kind of answer from the Fed today. We'll talk about that in a moment, but 10-year note treasuries continue higher. The steepness of the treasury curve continues to steep. And if you look at that 2 10 spread, it got as steep as uh, August of 2015. So obviously things are really moving here. We did see a very choppy trade in the afternoon after the Fed announcement. We did see yields come back down slightly, but still elevated around 163 when the dust settled. So 10-year note treasury yields, a big move higher than a modest pullback. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the coming days and weeks, see if we can sustain this move. But clearly the Fed announcement made a mark and made, a, made an impact on 10-year note treasury yields. Now looking at volatility, volatility was bid through the roof this morning. And at this point, uh, we saw a big bid coming into the Fed that's very typical ahead of a big event, but certainly the consequences uh, and, and the reactions from the market could have gone a lot of different ways. But when the Fed came out and said what they did, uh, volatility came way down. So volatility, very strong bid going into the Fed. And after the calmness and after the dust settled, volatility was much lower, despite the fact that Treasury yields remain elevated. They were off their highs, but again, they remain elevated. And lastly, let's talk about what the Fed said. What happened at 1 p.m. Chicago time today? Well, the Fed came out. They're very. Uh, they're going to maintain zero interest rates at least until 2023. They're going to maintain their asset purchases. Uh, they're, they're liking the improved economy, and obviously they've done a lot of heavy lifting over the last year, taking rates down to zero and adding asset purchases since the pandemic. Uh, they're not expecting a big shift higher in unemployment. They're looking for unemployment to continue to track lower, even in 2021, going into 2022 as well. Likewise, they like what they're seeing uh, with the stimulus checks going out and the economy really starting to hit on all cylinders. So that's all good. The inflationary component, they're not really worried about it. Uh, they're also not talking about tapering, which would be pulling back on some of their asset purchases, which the market may have priced in. And so at this point, steady as she goes, and the Fed's going to continue to do what they're doing until they're happy with the economy. They're also going to use transparency and give the market a heads up when they are looking to possibly change uh, what they're doing. So the market right now, clearly on a, on a different path, 10-year note treasury yields remain elevated at this point, but are off their highs. And the steepness of the curve remains very steep, but again, is off its highs as well. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, how the economic data comes in, and certainly we'll be listening to everything the Fed says as they come out over the next uh, couple of days and weeks and months and whatnot. So 10-year note treasury yields hit a new high of the move, but see a modest pullback as the Fed is going to stay the course for the foreseeable future.